So here we are at the auction here, and here's my car. And it, I have to say that it's really weird to see my own car here at the auction. So this is the first time that I've been at the auction while one of my own cars is here going through auction. So here's the auction inspection sheet, and in the previous video I translated all of the marks that I made about the car, but here we have the auction's marks about the car. So let's go over them and see how it compares to the condition. So just going to like our regular videos, put this in here. I'm going to get a video later, and probably post it one day later, of the result of the auction. And so the reserve on this one is 10,000 yen, so roughly about $80 US dollars. And so I expect it to sell today. I don't expect an awful lot. I'm kind of hoping for 250, so I can get, if I can get over 250 for it, that makes me happy. And if I get under, I'm still happy because I sell the car and I don't have to pay relisting fees. So we got an auction grade 3.5 with an interior of C. It's got 108, 444 kilometers. Now I translated here, the timing belt was changed and the valve cover gaskets were changed. Timing belt was changed at 96,000 kilometers. Valve cover gaskets were changed at 104,000 kilometers because they were leaking. ABS VDC lamp is on. That's always been on and the ABS actually doesn't work in the car. The v, a VDC is a, a torque, torque vectoring a version of stability control. It's not for performance, it just means that you don't slide out and stuff like that. It's a rudimentary um, traction control system. Steering wheel is peeling. Let me show you that part that's peeling. It's on the window side. The steering wheel is bent here can't see very much, but in this area here it's peeling. I guess because we're inside an auction, you don't get good visibility on the inside, so pardon me about that. Okay, interior dirty, really dirty to be honest. Underneath the battery has rust. I didn't ever notice that before. Aftermarket grill, yes it is. I paid 7,000 yen for this grill and it's got a rabbit on it. And it's got fake carbon fiber. But the grill looks cool and it's the same color as the car. What else do we got here? Door mirrors and wheels scratched and center caps missing on the wheels. Okay, if you look at this wheel, um, my wife scratched the wheel when she was driving. Um, it's not her fault, but there's a scratch along here. Otherwise, the wheels are in pretty good condition, and they are going to be the selling point of this car. So if anyone does buy this car, then uh, the selling point is because of the wheels. Now, I did mention in the other video, the exhaust has come off. As you can see, there's no exhaust, and the exhaust is in the trunk. And so you get a nice apex exhaust that has been dented here from all of the times that my muffler couldn't make it over the parking stopper. The car surprisingly sounds almost the exact same whether the muffler is on or off, so it's a little bit nuts. Let me just walk around here. Okay, fender arch is modified. Now, they do have this gummy material on here, and this is something I didn't mention before. In order to pass the inspection, the tires in the front, they stick out about a millimeter past the end, edge of the fender here. It's not really noticeable, but you can see that there is some scraping on the edge of the tire from where they hit. And so they said that they, the fenders have been modified. And usually what that means is they pinch in the fenders or roll the fenders to fit the larger tires. These ones haven't been rolled, but it has been moved, bumped in a little bit by the tire. And so I think that's what uh, they thought it was modified. The rear is actually just barely fit. And the fronts don't look very much different from the rears here. The rears do rub too though. Okay, underside surface rust. That wasn't something I was aware of, but surface rust isn't really a problem. Body upper side has paint stains and small peeling. Now the paint stains, let me just show you. That's not one. Like right here. See this spot here? That's something that you have to polish off. And there are a few of those in various areas. This one actually comes from my daughter putting rice on the hood. And so if you do end up buying this car, which I wouldn't be surprised if somebody watching this does buy this car, uh, you're gonna know that the paint stains come from rice balls put onto the car. And so there are some on the hood and there are some on the roof. 
and it says peeling paint is on the roof. The peeling paint is on the, so you can see the roof here, and you can see the car's really dirty, and the paint condition really needs a restore. The peeling paint is on these pieces here. And pretty much all four of them, and that's a common thing for legacies on pretty much all of them. Okay, A3 on the front bumper. This happened when some friendly guy bumped my car and didn't mention it. It's on the front here. And it happened two weeks before selling the car, so that's never fun. This part here has always been scraped like this. And it comes from parking up against the parking stopper with that front way in the first that is too high for it and it's on that side there and there's a little bit on this side here a front lip would fix that really there's au2 on this side and a1 on this side the car's always had a number of dents on the sides uh, it's not terribly visible but it is probably more than average you, with the lighting in here you probably won't be able to see it but uh, the biggest one's right here Okay, the condition of the tires is pretty good, but like many legacies, it's got more wear on the outside of the wheel than there is on the inside of the wheel. Let me just show you here. The tires are Achilles tires, and on the outside here, you only have about one millimeter of tread, two millimeters of tread. On the inside here, you've got about four or five. I believe they are DOT tires though on there, but they're probably going to need to be changed. Okay, an AU2 on the back. So AU2 is a scratch and a dent. Right here, dent, 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 and super dent. Things that they didn't catch are the roof has scratches and spoiler here. A number of them right there. And there are scratches in the front pillar here. One, two, three, four, five. I have no idea how somebody scratches this. First time I've ever seen something like that, but we bought it with that on it already. Okay, interior is dirty and because it's dark you won't be able to see very much, but I'm going to start the engine so you can see how cool the engine sounds with no exhaust. It actually sounds pretty good to be honest. Now the car's going through auction in about 30 minutes here, so we'll see how it goes. It's going to be weird. Power steering is good, 108, 445. Mechanical condition is very good. Really nothing wrong with it other than the uh, ABS not working. Cloudy headlights probably should have been mentioned on the auction sheet, but I guess they were a little bit nice on me with the auction sheet. Sometimes they're really bad. Depends. I don't sell a lot of cars, so. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to post this video today, and the result video I'm going to post tomorrow, just so that there's a little bit of a gap between them. And that means that you can probably find out the result of this if you want to know right away. But if you like the suspense, then wait a little bit, and uh, you can see my reaction to it. You might see me crying if the car doesn't sell because I have no need to put this through auction again. The auction costs are about $100 and so just if this sells for $100, I'm basically just going to get my money back for selling it. Okay, so that's going to be the end of the video there. So thanks a lot for watching and have a nice day.